Hi you guys, it's Greenwood Girl and I'm here to just do a quick share tonight. I needed to make a quick card for my little one who is finishing up fifth grade this week and will start middle school next year. And so I was using um, a stamp set called Superstars by Paper Tray Ink and I made this card for him and it says look at the stars and how they shine just for you and every single thing you do. And then on the inside, it says, be the star that you are meant to be. Sorry, I'm putting a shadow on it. So those that's all from the Superstar stamp set, Superstars stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. But, um, and this is what the stamp set looks like if you want to see it. So by Paper Tray Ink. And, um, but I just wanted to come on really quick and share. Jennifer McGuire had done a video talking about the, some clarity brushes and brushing ink um, as opposed to using an ink blending tool. And the the Ranger ink blending tools are great for applying darker colors, I think, but they also are kind of tricky. You have to use a really light hand to get a good background without any mistakes on it. And what I like about the brushes, and this is a background that I did here using Aquamist and um, turquoise ink and then shading it into some green ink at the bottom, is that the brushes um, allow you to ink without um, kind of getting a blotchy effect. And the Clarity brushes that Jennifer McGuire was talking about, they're sold at like Simon Says Stamp and they're like $30 for a set. They're pretty pricey. So these are just some Marvy uh, stipple brushes, if you can see that. I'm sorry my lighting isn't very good. But these are Marvy stipple brushes, and they're often used for when you're inking through a stencil. And these I got at um, Tuesday morning for like $1.49 each. So after seeing Jennifer's video, I thought, well, for $1.49 each, I'll just buy four of them. Uh, you know, for the four main color groups, and so far I've only inked up a red and a blue, but I have one that I'll probably use for browns, and then this one I can use for some other color stream like yellows or something. So I just bought four of them to start with, and I love the way they ink, and on this card I used the red brush, and I just pulled in with the brush from the edge of the cardstock to make um, this kind of uh, red frame around the piece of paper. And I just wanted to show you guys because it's a really easy way to ink and I like it better than the Ranger tool. I tend to make a lot of mistakes um, unless I'm doing a really dark color inking with the Ranger ink tools. And I like the brushes better. For me it helps me to have a lighter hand and I tend to like lighter colored backgrounds so more subtle. So um, when you're doing a lighter colored background, the brushes are really nice. And then you can always put a stencil over your light background then and use um, some darker color over it too to, to get a kind of a, a two layered effect. So just thought I'd come on and share that with you guys. Um, I'm uh, busy trying to finish up the school year with my son. We're done at the end of this week, and we're both really looking forward to some rest and relaxation, especially me. So I hope everybody else is looking forward to summer or already already enjoying it, hopefully. <laughs> Seattle's getting out a little bit late this year. So um, anyway, thanks for taking a look, and blessings and hugs to everybody. Bye now.